when, when, we can, um, when we actually are feeling our fears, are, are they connected to a memory that we don't remember now, but, but at the time we're feeling the fear, the memory comes back? Oftentimes that will happen. As soon as you actually connect with the emotion itself, whatever the emotion is, most of the time the memories return. So you don't even have to worry about the memories really at this point. All, all you need to do is allow yourself to connect with the emotion that you feel. Right? So if my emotion I feel is a lot of anger and upset with God, like you've learned, many of you have been coming now for some time and learned about all these different ones of God's laws, right? There's a, this law of attraction thing. Well, how good's that? Like, you're basically saying with the law of attraction that when I feel, if I don't feel one of the emotions that somebody else created in me, let's face it, most of the time somebody else created in me, Basically what I'm telling you is that somebody else created this emotion in you and you're now responsible to feel it. And the law of attraction is going to bring you events to trigger that emotion until you feel it. How fair does that feel to you? Like for most people in the audience, I can guarantee you, once you really ponder about that, you'll feel that's not very fair. Uh -huh. you, you feel that really, no, no, hang a sec. Why doesn't my mum's law of attraction bring that emotion to you? She's the one who created this one in me, right? Why doesn't she feel it? Do you see what I'm saying? And so we often have these feelings towards God about that. And so talk to God honestly. And that doesn't mean just talking sometimes. Sometimes you're going to get quite angry and frustrated with God. And you're going to be angry and frustrated with this particular law or that particular principle. And you're going to be so upset about injustice. Because remember I've said on many occasions that love isn't justice. And you're going to be so upset about that. What? You know, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. That's what you want in the end. <laughs> you know, I want the persons who created this to pay for what I, you know, what's within me now. And all of those kind of things. So allow, allow the underlying fears to be present. When you start allowing the emotions, sure, the memories will return. But you don't need to worry about that at all. What all you need to worry about is just letting the feeling be present. When the feeling's present, that unlocks everything else. So, so when you're praying to God falsely that you really want to fear the, these, feel these fears... Yeah, and you don't but, really. But, but no, and you, and you don't really, but, you, but you're not aware of feeling any fear about not wanting to feel the fears, <laughs> if, if, if that makes sense. But, yeah. yeah. Well, let, let's look at it. Let's look at what often we do with grief or all the emotions I've mentioned. Many of us are saying, please to God to help me get to my causal emotion. We know that if we release causal emotion, our law of attraction changes, right? We're going to be happier. So most of us feel like, oh, I really would like to connect with some of this causal emotion. So we try to connect with the causal emotion. But we don't really want to connect with the causal emotion most of the time. Because if we really wanted to, we already would be doing it right now, right? This is something we need to remember as a very basic thing. If I'm not right now connecting with the causal emotion, then I don't want to. And I need to be honest and say, I don't want to. I don't want to connect with this causal emotion. You know, the times that I've said I don't want to, sometimes within two minutes I've been feeling the causal emotion. It's amazing what it does. It's some kind of psychological thing. I, and I still don't really get it, really. But basically what it feels like is you're allowing yourself to feel that you don't want to do something and that's more allowing than it is when you're trying to say, I want to, when you don't really. And, and to be frank with you, what's actually going on inside of you is it's the truth that will open you up. And I'm not just saying God's truth will open you up. What I'm saying is when you're truthful with God, it will open you up. Right? You try it even with your family. When you're truthful with your family, that's when emotions start coming out, right? It's when you're trying to cover it over and make out and all that, no emotions come out then, right? But as soon as you're truthful with a family member, what happens? Oh, you start connecting with your sadness about that particular thing that you're talking about or your anger about it and so forth because you're being truthful, because you're in a dialogue. So what I'm suggesting is have this dialogue with God. Initially, it's not going to be a very good dialogue. It's going to be like, you know, a lot of times it's going to be like angry dialogue towards God upset about this law and that law and why this has happened, why this has happened to me and all these different things. I don't want to deal with my emotions. Someone else should have to deal with it. They are to blame. I'm not to blame. All these different things are going to come out of you. They are your anger blocks in dealing with your relationship with God. Does that make sense? 